What's going on guys? This is Bryce from Comical Penguin. We're back with a uh, new uh, playthrough. Uh, continuing the Uncharted series. Uh, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Um, it's been a long time since I've played this game. We are gonna play on easy. I've never played this game on my PS4, so this will be, uh, I mean, a new one on here for me. Uh, I don't, I've never played the remastered, I guess, either. I do not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo, on his deathbed, 1324. I will say. So my my one complaint so far about this game has been 
the the angles were not great on this. Like, where am I supposed to go here? Come on, man. Like, it's just so dumb. Like, what a terrible camera design. Like, honestly, bad camera design, man. So is everything going to do the exact same thing? Okay, no, 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 like, quick time, nothing. No hints, nothing, man. That is so terrible. Literally great, great way to design the literally first level of the game, man. What a great design. What a great design, man. As you're, like, teaching the player to learn the game, look, first thing you do is, like, yep, screw, you know what to do? You know what really gets a, a, a you know what gets a really good, like, what gets a player really happy? Oh, yeah, when you completely screw them over, man. That's exactly what you do there. What a stupid game design. What a dumb, dumb, dumb design, man. No hints, no nothing. Stupid. So dumb. Okay, so this is also stupid. What a dumb game. I hate this game so far, man. I forgot how dumb this game is. Take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. It's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it. From the 
files of the mm. nutcase. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shall so the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Obviously a lot. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we know we're about to get into some type of gunfight here. Come on, man. Hmm. 
I'm about to say we're definitely out for a second time around, right? Hello. Uh, oh. Well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just <laughs> disappear together this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's. I'm gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. I thought I'd have to go look it up while I, was, I couldn't remember. This is set in the future. Or set two years after the original sure game. You're up for this. Mm -hmm. feel a lot better if I had a gun. Mm -hmm. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have mm -hmm. their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here.
this way. <laughs> so what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble <laughs> our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. <laughs> Cocky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in the chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just <laughs> make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. <laughs> Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You know where you're going. <laughs> Don't I always? Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Uh, this is the sewer, mate. It's a sewer, mate. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh wait, this can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Here it comes. <laughs> Thanks. Almost there. <laughs> you ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. Way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. <laughs> not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then.
Gotta be this, right? Okay, I am. Are you kidding me? So, I mean, I can only get...
we go. So dumb, man.
Nope, that's not working. Let's say where the heck does it do that? Alright, there's the tower. Getting closer.
Okay, where are we supposed to go, dude? There we are. itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shembala. The curse of the Chintamani. Does that mean something to you? Shembala? Mm. My God, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shembala. Shangri-La. You're joking. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're, we're, we're not dealing with mystical, myst there. mystical so things. Yeah. Things, but we've really got to go. Right behind you. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. 
This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? Nah, I just need you out of the way for a little while. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen, face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. Want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? I guess this is the way to go, right? What is going on, man? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. 
In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. <laughs> and you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> He's been counting on Flynn to find it for him. It's no wonder he hasn't had any. If I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stuff. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. <laughs> Okay, let's see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. <laughs> well, so it sounds like we're going to Borneo. You reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Well, um, unfortunately that is going to be it for us today, guys. Uh, because we're out of time. Um, I'm interested to see where this story continues to go. I don't remember it all that well at all. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all next time. See you guys. Bye.